Hello friends, welcome back to A Dog's Life in Liechtenstein, where you'll see Arthur becoming a frisbee expert and the snow and mountains continue to fascinate. This week was the sport holiday of my grandson Dean, so he and my middle daughter visited so he could get in a little snowboarding. You can see how excited Dean is to have his grandma filming him learning to snowboard. It's so easy at our local ski field. Out of the car and seconds later he's heading for his first run. While waiting for Dean, my daughter and I enjoyed the sun and took Arthur for a walk. While walking, we discovered some lovely old traditional buildings that look like they were being used. It turned out they'd been renovated and were being used as a youth hostel. What a unique place for young people to stay for skiing. <laughs> Meantime, Arthur doesn't care about unique buildings. He's only interested in chewing pine cones, which is a strange habit of his. Before we knew it, it was time to head back and collect Dean after his final run. We didn't want to spend all our time in the snow, so we also went down the mountain to where there was grass and spring flowers were making their appearance. One of the joys of having Arthur is that all my grandchildren are now happy to go for walks with him and I. I found it's a lovely opportunity to talk with them and keep up with what's going on in their lives. The spring flowers in the fields make me impatient to start planting in my own garden. We needed to visit a local home improvement store and while my husband was searching for screws, hinges and such, I couldn't resist browsing their large garden section. But I had to refrain from buying. Because we live at almost 1,000 meters, spring comes to us much later than down in the valley. I would only be dooming anything I planted now to death by freezing. I did indulge myself by buying Arthur a cute toy basket because I hated the white plastic one we had until now. But Arthur thought it was actually a new toy and 10 minutes after putting his toys in it, I came back to find it looking like this. He may look cute and innocent, but he can be an efficient wrecking machine. 
We've had so much snow this year and it just kept coming and going. Well, one afternoon, when it seemed to be going again, we took Arthur on one of our favorite walks. There was still enough snow to justify using snowshoes. It made the walking less slippery. A charming feature on this walk is the cute nut station for the squirrels. Spring can be just as hard for squirrels as winter if they've used up all their reserves and of course fresh food is still lacking. So we did our part and added some peanuts. No walk is complete for Arthur these days if he doesn't get in some good frisbee time. On this throw, it went really far, and oh no, it got stuck in a tree. Arthur came back to get help. but he didn't want to leave his beloved frisbee behind. Finally, my husband went to help him. But before he could, Arthur managed to knock the frisbee down himself. He was so pleased with himself. Well friends, that's all from us for the moment. If you enjoyed spending a little time with a dog's life in Liechtenstein, please like the video or even better, leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe because our next video is going to show a special adventure for Arthur where he takes his mountain skills to the next level. See you very soon.